Hi there. Uh, thank you very much to everybody for coming out. And so one of the instructions that I got for tonight was make it real. And so, you know, I've given a bunch of these talks before where we talk about, you know, our story of innovating and how great it is and all the people that we've helped. But I thought maybe I would tell you some of the downsides and so, some of why it is so hard to shift the mindset and shift the way that we provide healthcare in Canada. So. Uh, really quickly, why did we start Maple? I'll just give you the background. It's because, as I think everybody knows, it's really hard to see a doctor in Canada. So, you know, almost one fifth of Canadians don't have a family doctor. For those people who are lucky enough to have one, one third of them are waiting more than seven days to be seen, even when they're sick. A uh, huge number of people, and we've heard about this already tonight end up in the emergency room for things that aren't emergencies, but because they have nowhere else to go. And there's this huge opportunity. You know, when we look at our physician workforce, only 50% of Canadians, and this is a Stats Canada, 50% of Canadian doctors, that's a Stats Canada number, are actually working full year, full time. So we're not making good use of our physician population. And interestingly, when we look around the rest of the world, virtual care is huge. And in other countries, you know, 50 to 70% of patients in some hospital systems are being seen through video, through instant messaging, and yet nobody Nobody was doing it here in Canada. So, you know, we said a few years ago, let's try to make things better. Let's try to improve access through doctors by bringing virtual care to Canada, even though there's this huge obstacle, huge obstacle that the government won't pay for it. So, uh, really shortly, what have we done? We, you know, we've built Canada's largest online doctor network. We're the only one that's coast to coast. We have over 150 practitioners, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, digital prescriptions, prescription delivery across the country. We take care of people with mental health problems always direct you straight through a doctor. It's not like telehealth. You don't have to go through a nurse. You don't have to go through a care coordinator. You have comprehensive online digital records so that there is a good continuity of care. Even if you don't see the same doctor on every interaction, they all can see your shared records of your visits. We've been able to resolve most visits, so 91% of the visits that have come in on our system. 98% of our patients are really satisfied. And, you know, We also can take care of family members. So. Um, now I kind of want to get into you know the patients that are satisfied. This is the good side. We've made a really, really big difference for some patients. So some of the stories, you know, I'm going to let them speak for themselves. But you know, people who talk about when their doctor's out of town and they needed help, and we helped them to avoid the emergency room. So these are real Facebook comments, real Facebook reviews. So there's a great one. Um, Here's another great one. You know, somebody who heard about us on CBC and they've used us on a couple of occasions, you know, for themselves and for their family members, and it saved them hours. You know, this is the big cost of healthcare. People talk about Canadian healthcare being free. It's not free. Nothing that makes you miss four hours of paid work is free, and we save people that money. Um, you know, another review really quickly. Somebody who's used it twice saved them hours of waiting in the doctor's office for something simple, and that was our goal. Um, you know, these are in-app reviews. So we have a Slack channel built into our application where, you know, we can see all the reviews coming in. So, you know, these are the real reviews. Five out of five, couldn't get into my doctor, didn't have time for a walk-in. You know, this is awesome. Uh, another review, first time using, such an efficient service. Another review, best service ever. This is one of my favorite reviews right here. <laughs> Third time using this for my baby and it's a lifesaver. I mean, amazing. Um, you know somebody else here that said this, thank you so much, the video consult was pretty cool, made me feel better. I mean, this is the great side. We are making a difference. We are helping people get doctors where they actually have never been able to do it before. I'm running really short on time. So now I'm gonna show you the ugly side. Well, people don't like us on Facebook because how dare you try to change healthcare in Canada? How dare you try to charge? So what a ripoff. We're as bad as the people in the United States. Um, it gets worse. So wrong. Um, it, it gets worse. This sounds ridiculous. Not trying to be Debbie Danner, but would seri people seriously trust this? Worse. Hey, wake up, folks. This is a sneaky way to charge more for what we already pay for. And so on and so forth. LOL, why would you pay for healthcare you can get for free? You know, we get this all the time. Why would I pay for something I can get for free? My, my answer to that is, you know, why would you take a taxi when you can walk for free? You pay for a taxi to save the three hours it would take you to walk to Mississauga. So that's why you pay for us to save us the three hours. Um, it's a joke. Lots of kind stuff. Um, What's next? Two-tier system? These are all real not nice comments we get on Facebook. So we try to help people and we get... So it is a real roller coaster, right? It's... 
So we're illegal, apparently. I don't know why we haven't been shut down yet. So, you know, there's a great rebuttal. We've made a huge impact, not only for people paying, but, you know, we're working for the government. Now, you know, there's a government contract where we're serving over 10,000 families that have struggled to access health care for decades. You know, we're working for one of the provinces to actually help them virtually staff hospitals that they were on the verge of shutting down because they couldn't get doctors. So it would be great if we could actually say, you know what, guys, we're not just Americans. We're not just trying to take your money. We're actually, you know, doing great things. But here's the other downside. Nobody will let us talk about it. So both of these government contracts we have due to the sensitivity around, you know, working with an ugly private company such as ourselves, due to sensitivities about provincial and federal jurisdiction, we're not allowed to talk about any of this. So I'm going to end this because I'm out of time. But basically, healthcare in Canada, you can help a lot of people. But whoa, will you make a lot of people mad? So there's ups and downs, and it is a true roller coaster ride. Thank you very much, everybody.